Well, hey guys, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at a recent release from Atlas. This is the 3230 covered hopper, a Trinity hopper, uh, Trinity Industries leasing. We're going to unbox this and we're still having computer issues, waiting on a new computer to arrive as the date of this filming anyway. So everything's going to be, this is going to be a product demo, which means it's going to be very quick, but you get a Atlas Model Railroad warranty in here and you get a registration card and that is about it and then in the box there's some bracing with a little foam now I think if I had to guess this was going to be a BLMA model at one time if it hadn't been previously released I could be wrong sometimes I miss out on stuff but this is a shorter three bay hopper here um, with a lot of great detail you got TILX on the side looks like we did catch a scratch on the car body on this one so just kind of a uh, small issue there but um, TILX you've got the FRA reflective striping three areas here for getting contents put in you got a walkway yellow grab irons on the end there are um, in place wheel bearing caps so they don't turn or anything but you got a ton of detail down here where there are you know the plumbing going to each one of the bays you've got the bay control valve area or control rigging area there don't really know what to call that metal wheels KD couplers and on the ends there's a lot more detail brake wheel air reservoir some plumbing in here as well so that in a nutshell is this hopper because of the computer situation I'm just not on my game so I usually spout off a few more details about these things but not able to do that right now hardly able to edit the computer that I do have crashes a lot when editing so I'm trying to keep cuts to an absolute minimum possibly no cuts so there is GBRX just want to give you a 360 of that and again a little look at the bottom there and then last but not least we have a CEFX version could have probably pre-gamed this a little better by having the rolling stock out, but I wanted to do one one unboxing at least. So there's a CEFX version. You can see that there. We'll just do a couple checks here on screen. Do wheel flange check for NMRA standards. I see that is good. And then we can also take a look at whether it's free rolling or not. And I'm guessing it is. And the great, greatest way to tell is this has a hump and it just in the middle and it's just going to town. So absolutely free rolling in terms of movement. So overall a great car. Um, we can check coupler height. You're not going to be able to see it down to size. Let's get over the hump real quick looks spot on that looks spot on so coupler height initial quick check looks good and last but not least take a look at the weight of this locomotive I mean rolling stock so you guys miss out on all those little errors when I do that so Trying to get it to stay put and 4.2 ounces. So there's all the information you need. 
to make a decision on these. Very highly detailed car, I think at a reasonable price, especially if you're a discount hunter. You know, the car body length is six inches. And if you add in couplers, that adds almost another inch total for like six and three quarter inches with the coupler in the end. So really nice detailed car that I think needed to be done in HO scale as we start knocking out all of these pieces of rolling stock that really don't aren't being done but um, are out there on the rails. So these are out there and you can get them from your favorite Atlas dealer, whether that is brick and mortar hobbies, shops, or online retailers. Well, that's going to be it, guys. Thanks for watching. Sorry about the poor quality that you're not used to in terms of video editing, but we'll get back to normal, hopefully, after the 1st of January or maybe even sooner. We'll see you next time right here on my channel. Take care.